Hello comic nerds, we're back again for another unboxing. I've got five books here from CGC. Just arrived, and these are some really cool books. There's some keys. I think three are McFarlane keys, and then just a couple of books that I just really love. One of them, which I'll save for last, is a childhood book that I've been toting around for 30-something years, and uh, finally sent it off to CGC. Not a high-grade book by any means, but it is a book that got a lot of use when I was a kid, and it's one of the most proud books that I have in my collection. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got here. All right, our first book. We've got some very, very early Todd McFarlane art. He's actually this part right here. I've featured this book before on the channel. I already have a 9.8 copy sitting right there. So, you know, this book was, I bought a whole bunch of them. Hoping to maybe get a 9.8. Now that I already have my 9.8, um, we can just, this is just gravy here. So I thought this one was an 8.5 when I got it, and I thought it had a cap of about 9.2. You know, whenever, whenever I say 9.2, sometimes that means outside chance of like slightly higher, right? So let's see what CGC did on our first book. Wow, okay. Off to a great start. Thinking we get a 9.2 at the best, and we got a 9.6. So this is a very, very... Pleasant surprise on this book. There's a scratch on the case right there, which I can fix with some poly watch. If you guys don't know that, I've got a video that I did on that. And uh, but yeah, great looking book. Hit our uh, about as high as we could expect to hit on this book. There's some flaws on this book, you know, that are kind of inherent to the book. And uh, I think I'll feature this in another video. And, and when I put that 9.2 down, I thought it, it that probably was what was capping us. But I've talked about this in another video. I don't need to cover it here. But that's probably why, because except for this back here, it definitely looks like a 9.4, 9.6. And uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous and a great start to this submission. We'll take a 9.6 of Coyote 13. So the next book we have, I'm just going to do the three McFarlands first. We have, uh, once again, early art for Todd McFarlane. And this is a key, um, Origin of Dr. Fate. Very, very cool book. And it's uh, All-Star Squadron, number 47. DC people love this book. Any comic collector loves that loves McFarlane will love this book. And up until recently, actually, I still have it. <laughs> There's a 9.8. And if you guys saw the unboxing for that, that was a special moment when I was able to get a 9.8 of this book because I want all the early Todd McFarlane books in a, as high a grade as I can get them. So this one here I thought was a 8.5 when I got it, similarly to the last one. And once again, I thought this one could get a 9.2. So, I mean, let's just go ahead and see. What did CGC do? Okay, a 9.6. Very close to almost another 9.8 on that. Um, this was definitely not as nice of a book as that one. So, yeah, but to get a 9.6 when I'm hoping for another 9.2 or 9.4 cap, um, we'll definitely, definitely take it. And this, um, this is a very nice copy right here. I like it when it has the whitish spine. It hides any kind of ticks there are um, when it has that. And, you know, if it doesn't have the direct color. I just, I don't know why, but it always catches my eye when it's the white. Over, I think it's probably a slight miswrap. In fact, you might be able to see it here. There's black down the side here. But I don't know why. I just always seem to like books that have... That it just looks clean to me. I just, I've just always liked that. So this is our last Todd McFarlane of this submission, and uh, one of my all-time favorite covers. I was never really a Conan reader, but this cover right here is is phenomenal. It's just, I mean, this doesn't get much better than this. And this is but some of Todd McFarlane's best work. I mean, it's just amazing. I do have a nine point eight on the wall of this one, direct copy. This one is a newsstand, and this book is exceptionally hard to get in a 9.8, especially a newsstand. But I don't have any kind of delusions that I'm going to get a 9.8 on this book. In fact, I got it, I thought it was about an 8.5-ish, maybe 8.0, 8.5. But I thought it had a very, very good chance of getting a 9.4. It's a very clean book, and I've bought several newsstand copies of this, and I mean, I've been looking for months and months. I checked for this book. It is uh, you never see clean copies of this book show up in newsstand. I, at least I haven't. This is probably, I mean, of the handful I've found, this is one of the cleaner copies. So, But I would be thrilled to pick up a newsstand 9.4 or better of this book. So let's see what CGC did. Okay, 
Man, is that three 9.6s? Three 9.6s. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely take a newsstand 9.6 of this Conan book. And uh, it's got some issues on this corner. That's probably the main defect on it. But the spine is tremendous on this book. Looks very, very, very nice. Yep. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's the, this this um, top of the spine here is the one defect, really. This book doesn't have that many defects, other, defects otherwise. And some part of that could be bindery. But this looks like a 9.8 when you hold it back like this. I think I just capped it at 9.4 because of that right there. But yeah, very, very happy to have another copy of Conan in newsstand. I'll probably keep this one because I want to get the highest newsstand copies that I can of every book. Maybe one day I'll, I can dream I can get a 9.8 of this book in a newsstand. So now let's get to a pretty big key here. Um, first Carnage, Amazing Spider-Man 361. Now I already have a newsstand 9.8 of this right here. And uh, this was, you know, I bought all these books over the same time period. So this is one of the ones I bought. This one looked exceptionally clean. I thought it was a 9.0 or 2 when I got it, and I thought I was able to get it up to a 9.4. And, uh, you know, I don't think any, it's very hard for me to ever, I'm very stingy, so I don't really assign 9.8 very often. So usually 9.4s sometimes get 9.6s when I, you know, look at them. Sometimes I'll think it's a 9.6, and maybe it'll get a 9.8. But, you know, I'm a conservative grader, so let's hope that we can get our 9.4 on this Amazing Spider-Man 361. Wow, this is a trend. I mean, I'm happy, but man, 9.6 on every single book is just really... I mean, you think I would get one 9.4 or 8 thrown in there. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um, these are definitely exceeding my expectations. And, uh, yeah, very, very happy. This one has this... Um, common flaw right here. There's little spots here on the bottom. Little pieces missing. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, you'll That's pretty common. You'll see that. It's similar to Amazing Spider-Man 328. It has like a spot on the back. Anybody should be proud to own this. I mean, once again, every one of these 9.6s looks like a 9. I don't buy a book unless I think it could someday get a 9.8, but sometimes you just can't see everything in photos. So I buy them, I get them in, you know, they're bent up here or there, you know, and everything's not pressable. But yeah, I try to buy modern books in the cleanest grade that I can find. And then I just try to press them, clean them, and get as high of a grade as I can. As you guys know, that's kind of what is a big part of what I do. So yeah, very, very happy for Amazing Spider-Man 361. 9.6, probably be selling that one since I have my dream 9.8 newsstand already. So, yeah, look for that on my short box account. So the last book, which has no danger of getting anywhere in the vicinity of 9.6, but I didn't send it in for that reason. I sent it in because it's a childhood book, and I just wanted to get it slapped. I've read this book a hundred times, probably. I don't even know. A lot. Yeah, but so it's probably a mid-grade 4 point... It was probably a 4.5 when I sent it in. I'm hoping it could get a 5 or a 5.5, but the grade doesn't really matter on this one. It's just my childhood book, and I want to enjoy it and look at it on the wall. I want to preserve it for what it is. So yeah, let's see what CGC did. We're hoping for as high as a 5.5 on this book. Okay, that is awesome. That far exceeds expectations um, to get a 6.0, um, but it makes sense. I mean, I have a Star Wars one that I read about the same, but I paid about four dollars if I remember correctly for this book uh, out of it was in a in a long box in a comic book shop this was back in the mid 80s so yeah about 85 86 I found this in a long box and then for some reason that four dollar amount sticks in my head I couldn't afford much more than five dollars and that was that was basically begging my, my parents to buy so but yeah very very glad to have this mid-grade 6.0 copy childhood copy of uh, uh, Transformers number one so a lot of the books that I've submitted so far, you've noticed, have been, um, they've mostly been keys, but they're not like huge keys for the most part. I've got some bigger books coming up in the pipeline, so expect, uh, you know, within the next month, I should be uh, posting some pretty big unboxings, so I'm looking forward to that. In fact, I'm sending off a submission in the next week that has like Amazing Spider-Man 300, 
you know, Platinum copy of Spider-Man number one, Incredible Hulk 340. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And, that, and going forward, when I buy books and I'm doing it, you know, to try and flip books or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to look for bigger books. and I'm going to pick some of the bigger books in the Bronze and Copper Age, mostly to focus on, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.